Welcome to this episode of Ask the Guitar Coach, the only podcast where you get answers to all your guitar-related questions. If you're interested in developing your guitar skills and reaching your music goals, please send me an email at the email address ioannis at ioannis.org. That is I-O-A-N-N-I-S at I-O-A-N-N-I-S dot org so that I can let you know about all the different packages of Elite Guitar Coaching and how you can get private coaching by me. Without further ado, let's go to our question for the day. Do I need to buy new tuners if my guitar is going out of tune? That's a good question. You might, but not necessarily. Uh, Several things might be making your guitar go out of tune. So let's look at them one at a time and see if I can help you out with them. Now, the first thing, interestingly enough, might be the fault of your guitar strings. And this can be two things. Either you have kept them on for too long, okay? Um, Or they're brand new, you haven't stressed them out and they sound like crap because you play with them. They sound good by themselves, but as as soon as you play, they get out of tune. Now, this has nothing to do, well, not nothing, very little to do with your guitar. It has to do with the strings and how you put them on if you don't put them on properly and how they stretch. So, provided you have this uh, under control, just make sure you check out your guitar, not in the first couple of days when you put the new strings on and definitely not if you have kept the strings on for like three or six months, okay? Now, if the guitar has the strings on for a couple of weeks, you play moderately, like one or two hours a day, and the guitar is constantly going out of tune, then let's move to the next subject, which again is going to be about strings. Check out the quality of the strings you're using. One of the reasons you should buy good quality guitar strings, one of the famous brands, personally I currently use Ernie Balls, but other brands are fine as well, um, is the consistency of the strings. Now, if you buy very, very, very cheap strings, like bulk strings that are not made in uh, one of the like good name factories, then it is likely that they, they're not made of good metal. And by saying good, I'm basically what I mean is consistent, like um, consistent strength, consistent feel, consistent length, consistent um, width of the string. So this will definitely affect your tuning. So far, everything was about strings. Basically, two things. Make sure you don't check out your strings when they're brand new or totally old and just buy good quality strings. And let's move on to the next thing. One problem might be that the strings are good quality, the tuners are good quality, but you're putting the strings on wrong. If you're not familiar with the best ways, it's not just one way, there are several, but the best ways to how to put a string on the guitar, depending on the tuning peg, whether they're locking or not and everything, then you might be using it in a way that's suboptimal and after a while, the strings is going to be uh, stretching more and more instead of doing it almost all at once in the beginning and you're going to be feeling that your guitar goes out of tune. So, this is very easily remedied by checking out YouTube and finding, checking out a few videos on how to properly restring your guitar and you will see that's going to make all the difference in the world if that was the problem that you had in the first place. Having said that, now let's go to more equipment specific problems. The next reason you might have tuning problems on your guitar might be a sticky nut. The nut being the nut right here on the guitar and it's very possible that if it's made of cheap plastic or various materials that don't respond very well to a guitar string being constantly bent and released in the grooves here, this might be the reason why your tuning is messed up. And what do I mean by that? Well, usually what happens is that you will bend a string and then on the release of the string, the string will not glide through the nut so easily. 
Now, the easy way to fix that is to fix it with a little bit of lubrication on the nut, but this is going to be a short-term solution. What I really suggest is to just, just get a higher quality nut for your guitar. This is one of the first upgrades one should do on his guitar and it makes perfect sense. It only costs like 10 to $20 and it can make a big difference on several things, not just bending, even intonation, even things like the sound of the open chords, it can have a big difference. On any uh, part caster that I make, on any project that I make with my guitar tech, any guitar that we create like kind of together that he creates basically in my specifications, we always try to maximize the quality of the nut so that I have less chance of having tuning problems with that. So if you have problem with your nut, you should definitely change it and uh, or at least at the very least, if you want to just solve it for right now, just lubricate it with a little bit of lubricant or with graphite, just from a regular pencil. And let's move on to the next possible problem. The next possible problem that you might have has to do with the bridge. So right here, it is possible or less likely than like uh, nut problems are more, much more usual, that you might have a moving bridge or a moving little bridge for the specific string that is giving you problems. If it's not properly set up, it might be moving as you're bending strings and then coming back to its, to its original position as you're releasing them, which will make the guitar get out of tune. Well, not the whole guitar, the specific string. Also, if you have not been, well, it's not just of being careful, if the string is not is of a high density and the metal of the bridge is not of really good quality, sometimes the, the string can create little grooves in the metal of the bridge and then it can snug, it can snug in there. Once again, this is um, remedied with some lubrication over there and then when the next time you take uh, your guitar to be set up, you just tell your guitar tech to have a look at it and possibly like buff away a little bit those little parts of the bridge that can snag the strings. Now, if you've done all of the bow and your guitar is still losing its tuning, then definitely it's the time to get some good um, tuners for the guitar. I usually get locking tuners and um, I have several brands that I enjoy, Saller, are the ones that I use most, but I'm sure I've used very, very good ones from other brands. And um, it is one of the fairly expensive upgrades on the guitar. It can run you up like to 80 or 100 euros, depending, or dollars, depending on the specific model of the guitar and the tuner. So this is why I said, you know, test out the previous things I just mentioned. And if they don't, solve the problem, then go and change the tuners. You're gonna, happy, you're gonna be happy you did change the tuners, it really helps, but they are not always the culprit of the problem. So there you have it. I hope this was helpful and you're not gonna be playing with uh, less than optimal tuning anymore. I will see you on the next episode of Ask the Guitar Coach. And until then, make sure you keep sending me your questions. I really enjoy answering them and I will do my best to do so on upcoming videos. Bye-bye.